This quick video guide will look at the different types of anchors and the anchor system. The anchor is one of the most important pieces of safety gear. In the event you lose power, your anchor will stop your boat from drifting into danger. Firstly, let's look at the parts of an anchor. The shank is the main arm of the anchor. The fluke is the holding part of the anchor that is buried in the seabed. The stock is a crossbar that is used to turn an anchor to ensure the fluke digs into the bottom material. The crown is where the fluke and the shank connect. And the tripping ring is used for breaking the anchor out with a tripping line. The anchor system refers to all of the parts of the anchor, including the chain and rope. The anchor road is the chain or chain and rope combination. The anchor warp or cable refers to the rope element of the anchor road. And the scope is the ratio of the anchor road length and the water depth under the bow. The anchor works by orienting itself and digging into the seabed. Anchors are designed so that the road follows the line of the anchor along the seabed and then up towards the boat in an arc. OK, let's look at the different types of anchors. Danforth or fluke anchor. Danforth, sometimes called fluke anchors, fold flat so they are useful for small boats where stowage is tight. They're a good all-rounder and have good holding power for their weight. They work well in sandy, muddy and shingle bottoms, but are less effective on a flat, rocky, weed-covered or deep mud seabed. They can also pull free if the boat drifts over the anchor in the opposite direction to which the anchor was set. Pros. Performs well in mud, sand and shingle. Stows easily. Good holding power to weight. Cons. Does not perform well on rocky, weed-covered or deep mud bottoms. Difficult to store. It can pull free if the boat drifts in opposite direction. Plow anchor. Plow anchors include the CQR and the delta anchor. The delta is a one-piece design, whereas the CQR anchor incorporates a hinge. Delta anchors are very popular and are more suited to use on a bow roller than being stored in an anchor locker. They are usually more effective than Danforth anchors on bottoms covered in grass. They are effective on a soft seabed and can work well on rocky bottoms if you can get a good grip. A notable benefit of a plow style anchor is that its single point penetrates the seabed, which means it's better at resetting itself if the anchor cable changes direction because of changes to the wind or tide. Plow anchors are generally more difficult to store and less effective on smooth, rocky bottoms. Pros. Suited for bow rollers. Effective on most bottoms. Can grip on rocky bottoms, providing it gets a grip. Better at resetting. Cons. Difficult to store. Not effective on smooth, rocky bottoms. Claw anchor. Claw anchors, sometimes called Bruce anchors, are good all-rounders and perform well on most seabeds. It is especially good in mud, sand and shingle. They are strong enough to hold on rocky bottoms and like the plough anchors, they will reset if the wind and tide change direction. They don't work well on a hard seabed or thick grass. They are pretty bulky, so they are more challenging to store. They are especially suited to use on bow rollers. Pros. Good all-rounder. Suited to bow rollers. Good in mud, sand and shingle. Will hold on rocky bottoms. Resets with wind and tide changes. Cons. Not suitable for a hard seabed or thick grass. Difficult to store. Grapnel anchor. Grapnel anchors are shaped like grappling hooks. They are foldable and stow into small spaces. They are great for inflatable boats, small boats and kayaks. Grapnel anchors are designed to grab onto jagged rocks or other structures. However, they are not so good at holding on anything else. Pros. Foldable. Easy to store. Suitable for jagged rocks and underwater structures. Cons. No holding power on other types of bottoms. Mushroom anchor. Mushroom anchors, as you'd imagine, are shaped like mushrooms. Small mushroom anchors are suitable for use in a riverbed with a soft, muddy bottom. 
They have minimal holding power and are best used with small boats and personal watercraft. Mushroom anchors are not usually suitable for use at sea or rocky bottoms. They don't have sharp edges, so there is less chance of injury, although they can be difficult to store because of their shape. Pros Suitable for rivers with soft bottoms. Use with very small boats and personal watercraft. No sharp edges. Cons Not suitable for use at sea. Minimal holding power. Difficult to store. We hope that you found this quick guide to the types of anchors helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share.